earlier when we started, remember we laid the chute all out and got our lines pretty much straightened out so they weren't all tangled up. So now we're going to pick up our lines and our steering line. And we'll take our lines and we'll just make sure that everything's nice and clear, nothing's tangled up. Everything looks good. There's our top set and then our bottom set. want to do is you want to make sure the steering line is under your lower set. If it is, our lower set's pretty much tangled free. Now what I'll do is I'll, I'll set my lower set down. I know everything's free from being tangled up. Loosen up my rapid link. And I'll take my riser cable and I'll make sure that I have the top on the top pulley is at the bottom, tops on the top. Now there's a loop that fastens the top riser together, this loop right here. Want to make sure that that is inside the riser cable as well. So that goes in there and that goes in there. So it's in there like that, okay? Then we'll take, tighten that. So we got that tightened down. Now we come down and we pick up our lower set and we know that it's tangled free because we've already checked it so we do the same thing with that one the lower set goes in just like the upper set did we put that loop in there as well and then we tighten that with your wrench you're gonna do the same thing you did up on the repeat link to tie the risers into the machine you snug it down and you just have to take it just snug it doesn't have to be you know grab a pair of vice grips tight just snug it down and that will that will keep it from loosening up if you over tighten them it'll drive this over this flat spot here and then if you ever take them off it kind of burns the thread and it kind of screws the thread up a little bit so just a really good snug fit is about right now once we have that done the next thing we want to do we want to lace our steering line. Now remember, we want to make sure the steering line is clear and not feeding through any of the lines. So we've got that. The first thing we do, steering line, we take the riser cable off the plane. The steering line is clear and we lace it through the pulley. Okay, so it goes through the pulley. Now the important thing here is how you trace the steering line from there. What you don't want to do is you don't want the steering line to come outside over the top of the riser cable down in through the pulley. The steering line has to stay inside, inside the riser, and then don't get it laced into any of your bars. So you stay inside the riser cable there. Then you go up over the steering or the CG bar right here, down through the pulley. And be careful not to just drag the steering line across the powder coat. This nylon steering line, it's very abrasive and it'll burn your powder coat. So you get that through there like that. Now, make sure you stay inside your safety cable, under your center of gravity bar. So basically through the opening here. And you come down here to your line trimmer, okay? You start by going in the back side of the line trimmer with your thumb. Just kind of click it around. See, it comes out this way. Tuck it in so it comes out the top. And then you just pull it through. Now in a minute, we'll lace up the other side and then I'll show you how to preset the chute for pretty much any chute that you're gonna put on your plane.